Hallelujah. God bless you. This is prophetic intercession with a male. You are welcome. I always count it an honor to be in a position where I give you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless all our first timers. If this is the first time you are clicking on my video, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. My prayer always is that God would use this channel to minister to you, to tell you the mind of God, help you build a good relationship with God, and help you sharpen the, your, your spiritual sensitivity, the voice of God you hear always. Hallelujah. So if you're not subscribed yet to this channel, please go ahead and touch that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word, there is a release of a prophetic word, you will not miss out. God bless you. And to all my returning subscribers, you already know how important you are to me. I love you so much. You are always in my prayers. You are always in my thoughts. Hallelujah. This is what came to my spirit. Someone has been crying and saying this about you for days now, you know. This prophetic word just came into my spirit and God was trying to talk to me about the prophetic. You know, the Bible says not everybody who says Lord, Lord would enter into his kingdom. And so many people, this is God's ministration to me. So many people have used the gift of divination to, to lead a lot of people astray. Because someone can predict something about your life, doesn't necessarily make them a prophet or prophetess. And people use this gift to do diverse things. They use it to derail people. They use it to make money. They use it to... So when the Bible says that judge all prophecies, it means you ask yourself, is this prophet, prophecy edifying? Why is the person telling me this in the first place? What is their motive? Why do I need to hear this right now? Don't just... Because so many of us, we are, we are, we are um, taken away when we hear prophetic words or when someone gives us prophecy we are uh, uh, liable to just be gullible at everything they say because they have been able to predict something about you or they have been able to say something about you all your guts come down and the instruction they give after that you 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 do not even judge it you just want to do it because you feel like oh if this person could say this about me and it's true it means whatever they are saying is true do not be gullible do not be gullible. Judge every prophecy that you're prophesied. Ask yourself, how will this help me? How does it edify me? What is the purpose? Why did this person even tell me this in the first place? And why does this person prophesy? You know, um, um, God led me to the book of um, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16 and verse 16. Acts of the Apostles, 16, 16, from verse 16 going down, it says that, it happened that as we were on our way to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination. Take note of that word, spirit of divination. That is a demonic spirit claiming to foretell the future and discover hidden knowledge. And she brought her own and she brought her owners a good profit by fortune telling. So she used the, 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 the gift of divination she had to make profit. The Bible says that she made her owners a good fortune by, by that. So already you know that nothing good can, can ever come from that because the motive of her even doing what she's doing is to make money. Verse 17 says, she followed after Paul and us and kept screaming and shouting, these men are servants of the Most High God. They are proclaiming to you the way of salvation. Now, her message was a good one. Her message told the people, announced uh, uh, um, Paul and, and Silas to the people. You know, because someone told you something that is true and that is good doesn't mean they are from God. These 
lady or this girl was a diviner and yet she was able to still you know because there is a light that radi that radiates there is a light that radiates from you and anybody that is spiritually sensitive can always see that light you know let's just continue she continued doing this for several days then paul means she's not just do this once but she continued doing this for several days then paul being greatly annoyed and worn out, turned and said to the spirit inside her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ as his representative to come out of her. And it came out at that very moment. But when her owners saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them before the authorities in the marketplace where trials were held. Now, what got me here is this lady was saying the truth. Paul and Silas were preaching the message of salvation. She kept on repeating it every day. I mean, she would talk about it every day when they are passing by. And Paul got tired of hearing it. Paul got worn out. He already perceived in his spirit that this is not just um, this is not a prophetic gift, but this is someone who does divination. And that is why it's good to test the spirit behind every prophecy and test the spirit of the people that are giving you prophetic messages because they might, you know, they might just pray on your vulnerability. They might just pray on you. I have seen people on the internet that use the gift of divination to make, you know, a life for themselves. They use the gift of divination to put fear into the hearts of people and manipulate them. You should not let you should not let that happen to you. Do not be a victim. How do you help yourself from not being a victim? Because, of course, there are true prophets and true prophetess who give, I mean, genuine prophetic words with good intentions. So what, what are your chances? How do you know that this person is from God and this one is not from the Lord? It's by the spirit of discernment. Because someone might say something that is true of you. It doesn't mean they are from God. You need the spirit of discernment so you can judge the prophecy, you can judge the person prophesying, and you can judge their motives so that you do not fall prey to these people. The reason I am giving you this prophetic message is so that you are alert, so you are not taking advantage of, and so you are not swept off your feet because someone prophesied to you or because someone called your name and your address wherever you are. Judge the spirit behind the prophecy, judge the motive. That is the only way you get, um, you know, you protect yourself. That is the way you get saved. I pray for you that God will sharpen your discernment to be able to discern right and wrong spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. You will not be taken advantage of in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.